Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Spirit. In the last episode, we talked to Narumi about her past incident that happened. And now, she led us, apparently, to her home. Welcome to my humble abode. It doesn't look like much, but I keep it tidy. You can put on one of Oji-sama's old robes if you want to. You know, while your stuff dries. Oh, old robes? How, how old is it? Is, is it even washed? I hope it's washed. Is it stanky? This used to be his place before he became the village elder. I never really got... Oh. Uh, oh, this is her still talking. I never really got rid of all of his things. He won't even notice you're wearing his stuff. You can change in there. I'll get into something else. Ch change where? Um, I, I, the only thing I can see is uh, under that table. Before we had a chance to get started, the sound of heavy footsteps could be heard from outside. And soon enough, a young guardsman appeared at the door. Hikage san, there you are. We have been searching for you. Elder Sama wishes to see you right away. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Oh, of course, right away. The guard saluted, snapped around, and took off. Nurumi closed the door behind him and walked back to a clean pile of clothes. So... Okay, so that was good. It was a him. And how come we haven't seen anyone else? Any other guys? Like, like I mean, actually see. The only person that we actually saw as a guy was the, um, was the elder. Hmm. Whoa. Um. Without warning. She began stripping off her clothes in front of me. Um. Uh. Mm. Oh. Uh. Um. Yeah. Mm, are Are you trying to to seduce me, um, Narumi? I. It's. Uh. Yeah. Um. Uh, my first reaction was to quickly cover my eyes with one of my hands. Narumi, however, didn't seem the least bit bothered by my presence. Yeah. Um, no, 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 Narumi chan? What, what, what are you doing? Hee <laughs> hee. What's the matter, Takahiro? Never seen a girl in her undies before? Oh wait, you saw mine yesterday. Maybe you've just never seen them on a girl. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. I saw her underwear yesterday? So it took one... Wait, it took one whole day to... To... That for that event to happen? I thought it took like a few days or uh, sad. What? Yesterday? Oh, I'm very confused at, at the uh, the times right now. How long are the days? Uh, uh, actually, I I've seen a lot of things in my life. Well, I mean, you did see Machiko naked. Uh, you did. Um, mm. Yeah, then yeah. yeah. Mm. I think, I think that's more than this. But never a girl stripping. What would your grandfather say if he saw y y y y you? Well, first of all, uh, his gran her grandfather would be a pervert if uh, you know he decided to peep on his own granddaughter, and that would be very super duper weird and awkward and very creepy. I stuttered as I briefly visualized how Narumi would have looked without the underwear, but quickly cleared the thought from my mind. Well, 
He's not going to find out, is he? It's nothing. We need to hurry, right? So get changed already. Uh, yeah. hmm? It, it's a matter of decency. Aren't you embarrassed knowing there's a healthy guy in the same room as you? What, what is, what, what is a healthy guy supposed to mean? Well, anyways, I, at this rate, this and that might happen and we're going to be late either way. So you're assuming that, uh, this and that, um, will happen. This is what you're saying. Not might, but will. Because you, you then said we're going to be late either way. So, you're making very big as assumptions there that, uh, things will happen. Not really. I don't mind it if it's you, Takahiro-kun. Uh, oh, oh. Well, that's the case. I'm honored. I wouldn't mind any of my friends seeing me like this. Mia has seen me naked lots of times. Well, that's a bit different there, uh, because she's a girl. That's not really the issue here. Anyway... I quickly turned around, trying my best not to peek as she finished changing and trying not to show um, anything below my waist. Tell me when you're done. This kind of stimulation isn't any good for my mind. Wait, but you said you're a healthy guy though, so... Um, um, hmm. If you'd quit your babbling, we'd be done already. Get your clothes off and the dry ones on. Oh, jeez, she's very, um... Ooh. She wants to take the lead. Oh. I suddenly felt hands grab my hips from behind. And without any other warning, my trousers were yanked down to my ankles. A firm kick to my rear followed. And I stumbled forward towards the wardrobe. Now! The wardrobe? Is, I didn't even see one in there. You didn't have to kick me. Well, you kind of didn't move anywhere and you kind of just stood there. So, yeah, you gotta get a move on there, Takahiro. I sighed in frustration. I had been wrong. Whether it was the sun deer tyrant Narumi, Machiko, or Mako. These girls had no common sense. Well, maybe it's because, I don't know. I mean, is, is, is this in the past or is this a, an actual like, um, like a different dimension? Or maybe it's both. Because, you know, it's, it's not really any modern technology in this place. No lights. I mean, it's, there's fire. You know, it's not fair that only you get a show. Um, well, I, um... Uh, hey, keep your eyes to yourself. This isn't a peeping contest. Well, hmm. Good thing, too. I'd have no chance of winning. Oh. Well, what does that mean? Um, well, I admit your site certainly has the more interesting view. Well, I mean, if she's changing like that all the time. I mumbled as I snuck another peek at Narumi while putting on the old robes that I had found in the wardrobe. It was very stanky. She seemed to have changed most of her clothes by now, replacing them with near identical dry ones. I wondered why she would have more than one set of the same clothes when it struck me. You have a strange dress code here. Huh? What dress code? These are my clothes. Are you saying I dress strangely? No, 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 no. They just look a lot like your other clothes. Then again, what do I know? There's not a lot of options when it comes to clothes here. In the cities, maybe, but here you find something you look good in and you stick to it. Some folks don't even have spare clothes, so I'm pretty lucky. What? Some people don't have spare clothes? Wait, is that why your your bra, I guess, is like wraps? Not really a bra. Hmm. 
Um, hmm. Wait, that means if no, people don't have spare clothes, that means they gotta wash it like every single freaking day. Oh my goodness. And they don't have they don't have washing machines, they gotta do that scrubby scrub stuff. Hmm, I guess it would be for a tailor to find work in a small village like this. I'm guessing fabric isn't easy to come by either. Yeah, it's never been easy, but these days it's almost impossible to convince people to come here with the spirits around. People used to pay a visit to the shrine, but lately they haven't been coming. Because of the spirits? That, is that the real reason or, or what? Makes sense. I don't think many would be willing to risk their lives peddling goods to some small village knowing wild spirits might attack. Yeah, oh dang it. I'm going to need some help here Takahiro-kun. Are you done yet? Yep, I just finished. What do you need help with? My wrap came loose. Oh, it is a wrap. Can you pull it back and tighten it for me? I've never been able to get it right on my own. Well, I mean, you got pretty big badonkadonks and, you know, it's kind of hard when you, you know, putting your arms behind your back and stuff. And, and wrapping it, you know, tying it. Unlike bras, you got the hooks. As she said that, she pulled her top up, presenting her back to me. Y y y you want me to do it? The what? It's just tying something, Takahiro. It's not anything else. Feeling slightly embarrassed at the thought, I tried my best to keep my thoughts pure as I took hold of the end of the wraps and helped pull them back, trying them, tying them into place. I quickly made sure they were neither too tight nor too loose. Come on, be a man. Just pull it tight and tie it. Well, well there, there she goes. Just pull it. A little surprised at her reaction, I decided to do as she said and pulled it even tighter than I had previously, securing it with a sigh. The, 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 this isn't good for my heart. I thought you are a healthy guy. What? There, that wasn't so hard. Come on, let's hurry. Oh, you look good, like a handsome young businessman. I, I do? But in a robe? I look more like a monk than a businessman. Yeah, that that would that's what I would uh, assume too. Smiling weakly, I quickly followed after Narumi, who was already in a hurry to leave the house. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and that um that view you had there. If you guys enjoyed it, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Two small graves. They looked old, but well maintained. Sitting in the shade of a tree. Narumi.